How are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? Very good. So what you got in the box? What I've got here, Les? Well, anyway, is a 1950s above-ground salesman sample swimming pool. What's up, people? Welcome back, and get ready for a hardcore pawn video full of attractive items on hardcore pawn. Number one, swimming pool. A guy walks in with a big box full of mystery, and I actually wonder what he got with him because it looks very intriguing. Let's check it out together. What I've got here, Les? Well, anyway, is a 1950s above-ground salesman sample swimming pool. As you can see, it's in really good condition. In the 1950s, sales reps used to carry miniature models of the items that they sell. I love this kind of stuff. Well, Les, we know you love your money, so I'm guessing this swimming pool is worth a lot, eh? Let's see what we're gonna do with this one. Hmm. Maybe 600 bucks for the piece. 500? Keep going, you're on the right track. <laughs> Let's meet at maybe 450 bucks. 100 bucks. I can't do it for a hundred bucks. Goddamn, what are you a hundred bucks? I mean, this is literally what we call a masterpiece, and you're just undermining its value. Shame on you, Les. Two hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks it is. Two hundred bucks it is. Thank you yes, very sir. much. Thank Add you, it to our collection. Book, two hundred dollars for a salesman sample pool. Follow him and he'll take care of you. And I know we're gonna make a profit. 200 bucks is still nearly nothing for this one. But as long as this guy is okay with the price, who am I to judge? Congratulations to both. A tough negotiation for sure. Seth saw the suitcase. Everyone. He saw the suitcase. Everyone. I don't know what the hell is about to happen, but I know it ain't good. Good luck, Les. What is this? My dad's known for buying useless crap for nostalgic reasons. We're still sitting on 40,000 wash bands. The last thing I need is more stupid crap. Seth and Ashley are done with this. Like Dun Dun, they are stupid of this crap. But was I the only one who thought this might be actually very valuable? I'm becoming like Les. We've had this talk before, and you're at it again. I don't have a problem buying this stuff. Dad, you do have a problem. You cannot stop yourself. We have no room for this. Have you walked in the back? Stop giving me about the watch bands. I'll buy less stuff. Will that make you happy? Yeah. It's a start. Les was pissed as hell because of his two kids. I mean, it's his business, so leave him be. I get it's your business too, but as long as he's alive, be grateful, but Les, listen to your kids. Number two, instant masterpiece. Two guys walk into the store with some really weird clothes and really weird stuff. Anyway, we're not gonna take that into consideration. Let's check what they got for us. Matt. Matt, you are? Dave. Dave, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. So tell me about your clothes. Well, this is all happenstance from what I, from what I do. I'm an artist. Well, I, I do them live. What does that mean? He paints. A a four foot by five foot painting in basically four and a half to ten minutes. Wow. Now I'm excited to see how that will work out. This shit is very much impressive, but we'll have to see if the painting is worth the time or not. Dave, 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 Dave. Oh my god. Nine minutes done. That's great. Damn. This is very impressive. Goddamn, even I started clapping. I even stood up. This is weird, to be honest. Anyway, I think he will make a good profit with this one. 100 bucks. If, if we can meet it up to 500, I'll go a couple hundred bucks. For 200. Deal. Got it. Thank you very much. You know, I look a little bit like Albert Einstein, but not bad for a 10-minute masterpiece. This is when you know the artist hit the nail with his idea. I was just sure that this artist intentionally painted Les so he could maybe earn more of a profit. And it worked. Number three, magic dirt. Prepare yourself for a healthy dose of paranormal nonsense as this genius tries to market what he calls magical burial soil. It's going to get magical, so hang on to your broomsticks. <laughs> How much you want for this thing? Uh, one hundred dollars. How'd you come up with that number? I did some research, and even just an ounce of graveyard dirt from certain other areas in the United States is like twenty to twenty-five dollars an ounce, and this is eight ounces. Something very unique. A lot unique. Less. I can tell you're joking. I can tell you're kidding. All I know, though, is that getting soil for free from any graveyard is exactly the same thing. Dirt. How much would you really take for it? The lowest I would go is 50 bucks. How much under $50 are you gonna go? 20 bucks. That's it. I can't go no more. $12. 12 bucks. 12 bucks. Because 12 is my lucky number. Deal? $12. 12 bucks. Leslie, did you purchase the magical earth from the graveyard? And for 12. The real issue now is, how in the world is he going to profit from this gold mine of a graveyard? $100. $100. If you'd like to buy part of it, a quarter of it for 25 I think a quarter of it for 25 seems fair. You got a deal. I'll be right back. Perfect. 
This goes to show you that a great salesman can even sell dirt. Leslie makes a shockingly healthy profit after selling 25% of the jar in less than a minute. It turns out that in the mysterious realm of absurdity, magical graveyard soil is highly sought. Number four, snake juice. These two men walk up to the counter where we can find Les, but they brought in something that is not only weird but somewhat disgusting. Check it out. This uh -huh. is a cure-all. If a man needs a more vibrant adult life, so to speak, this bottle is the solution. Tell me what's in there. It has a scorpion and a cobra, and that's really where the healing power comes from. This can accomplish miracles. Really? Yep. How much did you want for this? Like 200 bucks. Let me do a little investigation. Give me All one right, second. sounds good. I'm pretty sure Les has something planned, and this plan seems to be in the process of success. So let's see what he has hidden from everyone. I'll tell you what. You both take a swig. I'll pay you 30. You got a deal? Down the hatch. Oh, man. I'll give each of you 20 bucks. I'm gonna walk away from this one. <laughs> How are you yeah. gonna walk away? 40 bucks. You were gonna sell for 30. Les really got them with this one. Damn. Even if I were in their shoes. Oh, God. Trust me. I wouldn't even consider bringing this anywhere near my mouth. Good luck, I guess. Down the hatch. Wow. Down the hatch. <laughs> oh. Oh. You can really taste the scorpion. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks, you guys. Very much. I really want to puke, by the way. <laughs> These guys should really be thanking Ashley for this one. I mean, we all saw how they just decided to walk away from this one, but in the end, they came to their senses and sold it. Number five, prison toilet. A couple walked into the store and they brought some really weird things with them. It's literally a prison toilet, but get this, it's a high-class prison toilet. I think it's a uh, suicide prevention um, to not have a toilet seat. What would you do, slam your head in the I don't know. Seat? It's stainless steel, am I correct? Yes. Yeah. It's not full of crap, is it? No, no, no brand no, no, new. No, no. Brand new. <laughs> brand new looking. Looks like it's been peed in to me. Did you pee in it? No, I never peed in it. Did you pee in it? I don't know. I'm pretty sure they both did pee in it, not gonna lie, because they look as guilty as it gets, if you ask me. But that's okay. I would try it as well. No. Yeah, but there's no real market for this, you know? Sure, so Anybody that came, comes in here and that has visited a penitentiary before, mm -hmm. would definitely not want one of these. You know, it's one of those things that you're gonna have to find somebody that really finds this unique. Is it unique? Yeah. How about two? There's no market for it. This is one of a kind. You ain't gonna get another one of these coming I'll through. I'll tell you what. You wanna flip 120 or 100? Let's do it. Flip a coin, a freaking coin lease. What's your solution now? Goddamn, it really is risky. It's a 50 50 chance, everyone. Let's see how this goes. Best of luck, everyone. It's really important that you make the right call, because if you make the wrong call, what do you win? 120. Let's do it, Larry. Go ahead. Call. Yeah. Hey! 120. Thank you, Larry. High five. Oh, <laughs> Get away from me, Larry. Nice. I'm over kidding. Thank Bus. you. Come on, Becky. Larry, walk him over there and tell the guys $120. Larry really pissed Les off. I mean, he really made this couple $120 richer. Nah, of course. He's not mad. But thank you, Larry. I wanted them to win. Number six, ad tattoo. The most bizarre request ever put forward. A store logo tattoo for money on someone's body. To be honest, it is extremely intelligent. But gosh. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of free space oh. right here. Would you include our website? I put your website on there. I love America Joy, but you don't see me going out and getting a tattoo of this place on my stomach. Hell no. How much money did you want? Well, I'm looking in the range for about $1,000. 200 bucks. Cease, cease, cease. In reality, Leslie is aiming for that shit. That person would never purchase a human billboard. Astute, sure. Inept, yes, also. I think you really need to think it out. It's already been thought out. Dad, why would you want to do that? I mean, I'm trying to help him out. I really don't give a damn what my kids say. I want to make the deal. I'm making the deal. Leslie has a lot riding on that thing. His goal is to close the deal. However, Seth isn't really committed to this one at all. Just have fun, dude, and sell this tattoo to the guy. 250. Looking around five. Four, I'll, I'll take it. 250. Can't do it. Sorry. Sorry about it. Yes, sir. For 250 bucks, I could have had 50 or 60 years of advertising. I don't know what it would look like on an 80-year-old guy, but you know what? The wow factor would have definitely brought us business. Too bad. Right now, I'm giving thanks to God. It was not the right thing for this man to do in the first place. Simply come, sell a few random items in the store, and earn some cash. Number seven, latex vacuum. A latex for bed safety? I will demand an answer to that, because from what I can see, I'm suffering from an imaginary headache, because it's too much at this point. <laughs> A what? A latex, a latex vacuum, vacuum bed. bed. It's basically a part of a fetish. So you have sex with latex? Pretty much. Uh, it's like the autoerotic asphyxiation is what Pretty it is, much, right? yeah. Bobby J surprisingly knew exactly what this thing was. Uh, the latex bed was something that I have 
been involved with outside of work. Bobby, please. Bobby, please. I'm astonished. I regret that now that I've thought about it. You seem as if you would like the joke very much. I've heard of that. Sounds like somebody else might be into it, too. Well, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. I've, like he I likes said. it normally when Felix has his hand over his mouth. That I actually used it to its full capacity and thoroughly enjoyed it. Are you breathing? Here we go. It's working. You okay? Okay. So as soon as I saw it coming in, uh, my I was instantly taken back to the night that I actually used it. I didn't need to know that, Bobby J. Honestly, I didn't want to know that. However, why in the world are you giving us details? Because I don't want to suffocate. <laughs> um, it's not for everybody, but I'm familiar with the bed. Very much so familiar with the bed. I like the bed. Just imagine having sex now. He don't have to hold you. Perfect. Well, now we got that out of the way, so... <laughs> Bobby J never seems to stop. Renouncing nothing. Isn't he really a kinky one? I will simply say that, given that he is giving us this information, I do not agree. Number eight, diving deep. Wanting to make a bargain on a diving helmet, two guys come in. It is genuinely unique. It would look great in my room. Plus, it lights up. So, did you want to pawn it or sell it? I'd like to sell it. And how much did you want? Uh, I was trying to get maybe 450 for it. Is that a question or is that a, is that a That's state? what I'd like to get That's for a state. I mean, at least, I would say in 350 range. See him on the internet last week, anywhere from uh, seven to 900, new. I don't know what that would put it at a used market. Let me market. go look. Prior to letting Leslie hunt for the best deal, I'm gonna say it now. It truly is worth that much, in my opinion, no? I assume you would want to get a good bargain out of it. So good luck to you folks. Got an offer? 140. <laughs> now you don't have to scrap it. Let's do 300. 150. Could you go 225? 150 is fair. I'm into it a little bit more than that. I'd like to get at least... 151? <laughs> you seen him 6, 700? Yeah. No, I saw him for much less. It is a problem that affects the two of you. I have nothing further to say about this because it appears that you have no intention of spending $350. Yeah, I'll just hold on to it at this point. I appreciate you looking at it. 200 I can't go. Oh, you want 180? I'll take 180. Gotcha. Now we got All you. Right. Thank you very much. Tony, diving helmet, 180. I might be pissed off, but you know what? I can still close the deal. Thank you. Thanks. All right. It was sold for $180. This really irritated me. There is literally just a $5 difference. So what the heck was the point of all that? Of course, I'm not an expert in business. Number nine, racing toilets. Yeah, never mind. Scratch what I previously said. This is officially the weirdest thing I have ever seen in my whole entire life. Check this shit out. How you guys doing? Doing great, how you doing? Good. So tell us a little bit about it. Well, what they're called is Gotta Go Racer. They're, uh, they're racing toilets. You ride them inside, outside, fast toilets. You wanna ride one? Go ahead. Sure, why not? Seth and I had to make sure that these things actually worked, so we took him for a test drive. A toilet run, as they say. A toilet run it is indeed, my man Les. You really are either about to break your neck or break the toilet, you know? So, just good luck on this one. So, good. One. Sure you cheated. These two really enjoyed the shit out of this race. These bikes seem to be really fast and in great shape. I bet Leslie is interested. It's gonna be under a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, so you're saying a couple hundred bucks, that's about where you're at? Yeah. Okay, well, no, I'm sorry. I brought them down and- Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Right, thank you very much. much. The idea that all these deals are not working out is killing me. This is such a waste, because all this stuff would be amazing. But profit is profit. Number 10, dunk tank. A couple was attempting to sell a dunk tank, but things ended up taking a different turn and turning into a pleasant little get-together with water. Check out who the unfortunate person is. So, how do I find out if this thing works? We do need to have a volunteer to demonstrate. Bobby J will volunteer. He's I'm, perfect. This is a terrible idea. Come on, quit being a wimp. Come on, it's water! Karen says, well, now you gotta get up there! Okay. I actually just laughed the hardest I have laughed in my whole entire existence. This shit was goddamn funny. Bobby J really knows how to imitate Karen. Oh my god! Oh! Oh no! Oh yeah! Can't hit it! <laughs> Is it cold? No, Karen, it's like a jacuzzi. Deal is a deal, you cheated. Yes, Karen is going to regret this greatly. Bobby J will definitely need some retribution, and I'm betting he gets it. But men prioritize the sale. Cool, but my firm is like 450. Oh yeah, no. Can you give me the 1200? It's an easy money maker. It rents for $200 a day. 
Six rentals, it pays for itself. Throw me an offer, something reasonable. and Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I, I can't take anything less than 11.50. And I appreciate you bringing it in, man. It was I do. So it was fun. Thank fun. you so much. We didn't make a deal, but I still have an excellent idea for this dunk tank. What a loss. It was a pity not to close this agreement. However, it appears that someone is taking too much pleasure in this, Karen. Number 11, Mechanical Bull Right. In the middle of a parking lot are two individuals trying to sell a mechanical bull. Watch to see if Ashley and Bobby J can come to an agreement. Why do you have it? We have a Western themed restaurant, bar, for, and uh, that was the theme. We put the bull in the, into the bar, okay. and uh, now we've recently remodeled and changed the theme, so now we've got to sell the bull. Got to give her a try. Yeah. I... Yeah, you do ought to give her a try. Go on. Oh, no. Bobby J was pushed into it, I can tell you that for sure. I would really like to see him fall off of it. It'll be way too hot. Too hot for anyone to see. The girls to see. Yeehaw! Okay, you can set it down now. There it comes. Okay. All right. All right. Hang on, cowboy. All right. Not bad. Not bad. He's been on for a while. You looked like a really fine cowboy there, Bobby J. Not bad at all. However, I really want to give this a try. I mean, like a little bro hangout with Bobby J, you know? 31. 39, you pack it up. That's my bottom dollar. 34. I can't do it. Sorry. Good luck. That was indeed a fierce confrontation. For this price, why in the world would it be that bad? Just give it to Bobby J, please, and make my fantasies come true. Um, I really love her. Yeah. You know, she's more than a friend. Right. I want to marry her one day. Oh, so engagement ring. You could do that. White like, gold, yellow gold, diamond. White gold. White, white gold. gold. White Absolutely. gold. Absolutely. worth it. How long have you, you guys been together? Ten years now. Wow, excellent. Time to turn in. What did you just say? She was a friend, though. That she's a friend. So she's a friend. like that? Take a look at it first. No, that's you think? not a friendship ring, though. No, it's an engagement yeah. ring. My, get, but you just said you were a friendship no, wait, ring. Don't worry, Mike. I'm dealing with him. Please mind your business. What's up, people? Welcome back and get ready for a hardcore pawn video full of meatheads on hardcore pawn. Let's hop into it. Number one, flying fur. An extremely kind couple enters and asks to sell some fur coats for donations to their city. They would not disclose the name of the organization they have in mind. Hi, Ashley, I'm KP. Hi, KP. Listen, I want to donate back to my city, so yeah. charity. Are you guys from Detroit? We are Detroit. from Detroit. Basically, I need a receipt for my tax write-off of what about? I want to say about 15,000. Do you know what we are? We're a pawn shop. I can't do that here. Um, is there a certain charity that you like to normally donate? What does, Why it, does matter? it matter? I see a change in the time, everyone. Their tones are changing really bad now. Huh. These people should know that they can't freaking have it their way. Who's the one getting loud here? So that this is worth about twelve to fifteen thousand. I can't do that for you. We're not we're we're not a place that you know what, bitch. Why are you stuttering? Do you know your job? Wait a second. Wait here. a second. You don't here. call me a bitch. Bitch. Really? Really? Have a good day. You just throw it in my face? What you gonna do? Oh my god, no. This dude really has the nerve to fling it in Ashley's face, don't they? She is definitely not having it, and she will give them a very harsh lesson. You're you just throwing this in my really face? Yeah. You should go calm down. Did you just throw this in my You're face? Really Hold on. Weird. Are you serious right now? Hold on. Get the f out of my store. Hello? The store is a bunch of crap. They should have gotten somewhere else for their tax write-off, because I actually know this code is worthless. That's why they left it here. Stupid. No, does she really still refer to her as a bitch? She is definitely the bitch, though. Yes, Ashley, you are aware that they are just as useless as these jackets. Number two, death threats. A guy walks in wanting to frick this place up, but he really should choose his words wisely, yeah? Because these threats will get him nowhere, but out of the store for good. Yo, hold you gonna what? You heard what I said. I didn't hear what you said. Tell me what you're gonna do to me. Watch your Get your hand out of my bitch ass. Camo's past doing, he throws his hand in my face. I don't know if he's gonna hit me or not. I'm gonna shut your Kill you, motherfucker. Somebody threatened us. There is no chance you was getting to your car. Oh no, it escalated very freaking quickly. What the hell is wrong with that dude? You want to kill them? You're threatening to kill them. Your mother... I wish I could say it. Who you want to kill? Wait a second. Everyone should be pissed. Stop. Call the cops. 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 Hi, I have a threat up here at American Jewelry and Lawn right now. We're all concerned about the safety of my employees and the customers. This is the right way to handle this, Les. The best way, for that matter. This man just comes in and threatens the store. No wonder they freaking handcuffed him. The cops better not be late. I was mad because I lost all my stuff. I might have did say something to that effect, but it was only venting, like any normal person would. The guy lost it, but he apologized in front of the police. We gonna walk you out. So I decided to let him go. He got very lucky. He got very lucky indeed. 
His ass can be in jail right now if he freaking lost it more than he already did. And yes, you lost your stuff to pawn, but killing someone for that? Low. Number 3. Choke Chicken The man who eats his own chickens wanders in and asks to buy some watches. But with all the chicken, my man is all greased up. You hungry? No, I'm not. That this, I got this for free at work there, you know what I'm saying? Oh, do you? Yeah. Let me show you. Feel free to lay your chicken on the counter. All right, look, this is what I do. I say I got chicken his finger sucking, come for a plunk. <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree. This was a really funny prank, even if I'm outraged that all that chicken was placed carelessly on the counter. Are you kidding me? He's eating chicken while he's talking to me. Yeah, yeah. All right, look, let me see right Dude. there. All right, look, let me, can I see that right there? Sure. You see it? No, I want to touch it. We'll talk about touching it later. How much this cost? 1,200 bucks. 1,200 bucks. I'll give you 1,200 pieces of chicken. Uh, 1,200 pieces of chicken? Yeah, That's like chicken for oh, Byron for like a day. Oh, I thought you wanted to fight. Um, not yet. It appears like Seth is becoming really irate. My man appears to have mingled both human and chicken, so he really ought to know the difference. Come on, man, let's go. And you know what? You ain't got to touch me. I'll fly out this motherfucker. Fly out. Fly out this motherfucker. Fly out. Bro, you dropping feathers. I'm just saying, bro. You won't get this chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out when the chicken crossed the road, he went to a pawn shop, made a scene, got kicked out. There you go. <laughs> you are all informed. He is combining the two species in one. He doesn't really comprehend them, though, since chickens don't fly dumbass. Number four, romantic gesture. A romantic man wants to give a lucky girl a ring, but a friendship ring was the catalyst for that discussion. Who is that woman, then? What is happening? Let's investigate. White like, gold, yellow gold, diamond. White gold. White, white gold. gold. White Absolutely. Gold. She worth it. How long are you, how long you guys been together? 10 years now. Take a look at it first. Look at this. I like this. Ooh. Oh, that's how do you not a friendship ring, though. No, it's an engagement yeah. ring. Nice reply, my man. This guy should get his freaking head out of everyone's asses. I mean, why the hell would you intervene? Let your friend do whatever he has to do. So help. I for fifteen hundred dollars? More than that. What you pay for yours? I don't pay for. I do. All right, you it's got not, it, guys. No, 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 it's never guy. free. But it's no, his God, money. Who are you? No, who, yeah, you can't spend my I'm, money. I'm getting a deal. Why you I can't get a deal? I agree with you that the person had to be really insane. How in the hell did everything escalate that quickly when all he wanted to do was buy a friendship ring? I get the friend now. Have a nice day, you know, sir. Nerve, man. Have a nice day, sir. Why are you so mad that he's spending the 1500 though? Because he's my friend. Who the hell go and spend 1500 on something? You got it like that. You gonna let your friend do something stupid like that? It's because you. I didn't get a ring because of you. You should have knocked the out of him, big man. Shut up. You, you should have knocked the you're going to do it on your own, I bet, my man. What the heck happened, though? The man was only watching out for you. For the love of God, just get your ass out. Number 5. Owner. Doll. Strangely enough, the guy who brings in the Cabbage Patch doll looks exactly like the doll. However, it looks like he's getting kicked out of his flat. Let's investigate this. We're good, how are you? Um, I'm actually getting evicted from my apartment right now, and I'm trying to get all my stuff out. What are you looking to do with? That. I'm looking that. to get a hundred dollars for it to help me out. Guy comes in with a doll and crazy enough the guy actually kind of resembled the doll. You know it was weird it was like we're talking about a doll that looks like the guy. It's like you're buying him. Okay that was a joke relax. Dark humor. Anyways I really wonder like why would they even evict you from your apartment the hell. I bet it's the creepiness. How about ten dollars? $10. What is $10 gonna do me? Even at $100, what the hell is that gonna do? $100 will help me move my <laughs> out, it'll to feed where? my dogs if I have to, wherever I find. The $10 isn't gonna be Don't we simply adore the mindset? You will have nothing to lose if, at the very least, you try to persuade them of a higher price and act with extreme respect. Are you kidding me right now? I understand that he's got some issues. You know, we all have issues, but don't tell me to go myself. If I were to do this, that's disrespecting you. What the f is your problem? That's How are you gonna throw my f on the f floor? I didn't mean to think that. Pick that f up. Are you f insane? Everyone was talking business with him. That's definitely not how you speak business, boo. Actually, it's not. Every action has repercussions. Bitch, you got yours. Number six, this is Les. These two men enter with the intention of pawning some jewels. They appear rather respectable and tight. There's a mixtape waiting. Let's see how much they can earn with it. Okay, so what is it worth? Five hour loan. Five dollars? Dog, he trying to give you five dollars for that. What is that, a large bro. pizza? What am I supposed to do with five bucks? Go to buy yourself a large pizza. Listen, Dog, listen, he listen. just clowned you, dude. You know, I offered the guy a fair price. The two guys were just dogging with each other. I can't buy my daughter a mother 
Slurpee with five dollars. Oh, sure you can, you. and then you can buy her a small Slurpee, and you can have three dollars change. Oh, he just tried to kill you. These two guys are really just playing all clever and clownish, don't they? Okay, nope. All I know is that if they continue to behave in this manner, there will be repercussions. Oh, I can't f believe this, f bro. For your watch, bro. For a Breitling. You understand? What, what did I you say? call that? That's the ghetto Breitling. No, that ain't the, the ghetto Breitling. Is a Breitling. Oh, you hear this mother? There's other places. Go to them. Well, I need Here's I need. the deal. $15. Take it or leave it. Hell no, man. There's the door, guys. See you later, alligator. They definitely understood how to deal with these two pricks. Call the blasted place's owner a mother trucker, please. Oh, my. You're definitely in some serious trouble. Man. That's some What's up, man? Oh. In America, jewelry and loan. Okay. Don't come in my store with us. You let him do this. Tell me five dollars, son. How y'all ladies doing? Can I walk with y'all? We out of here, man. FYLB. These individuals truly have lost any sense of reason. Is their jewelry worth $200? I'm half afraid of it. Really, I do. I'm glad they're no longer around because I couldn't stand to hear them. Number seven, headbanger. An enraged man walks in and demands something from the boss that is really unjust but important to him. Please just have a look at this. Who's the manager? I'm the manager. You're the manager? Uh huh. So you can help me then. I came in here, I sold a uh, TV. Flat screen is 73 inches. I was wanting uh, 500 for it and gave me 300. I need more money. That is the strangest thing I have ever heard. Dude, you truly sealed the deal. Moreover, it's whole. What specifically are you asking for right now? We already made the deal. We already did the negotiating. We're not gonna give you more money. You're f me, dude. I mean, I need more money for my TV, dude. You can't help me, I mean. There's nothing I can do. You already took the money. Do I need to come through this little hole here? I will break that hand off right there. Are you actually going to approach the owner of the shop in his shop? You'll regret this imbecile in the future. The only thing this guy's gonna get today is a concussion. That's not enough money for what I gave you. You ain't getting goodbye, young man. Can't you give me something else? It's time to go, my man. Okay. American jewelry and pawn. This guy's gonna wake up tomorrow without more money with one badass headache. A concussion for sure. If not from his deed, then at least from Byron's jumping him throughout the shop. If not that, I'm going to kick him in the balls and I'm flying over there in time. Number eight, cab driver. A man storms in and starts screaming at a man who is in line for a loan. However, why even is this the case? I'm not sure what's going on. Ashley assist. Supposedly the cab driver dropped this guy off here because he wanted to get money for his jewelry to pay the cab driver. Give me $45. We'll call I, have to, I have to pawn this. Bullshit. He's asking yeah. you to wait five yeah. minutes. No, I'm out of here. Okay, then you can go. I'm gone. Okay, go. Who the hell are you? I'm Ashley. Forget Ashley. No mail. Slave you. I've come to the conclusion that you should wait for your money without becoming upset since you will ultimately receive it. Get out now! The next thing I know, the cab driver is pulling this girl out of the cab. Get out! Hey! Get out! Hey. No! Hey! No. Hey. No. Hey. 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 hey! That's assault. I wanted out of my car. You're... Wow. This mother... It's crazy. Let's go. That dude grabbing this woman's arm and even grabbing her to get her out of the car? What the hell is wrong with that? TF, this is assault indeed. What are you yes going to no? do about it? What are you going to do? You want me to drop you right here? I will call you a cab. He can be out his money because he's here. demanding it. I've had enough of this The boyfriend got in the taxi driver's face. I don't blame him. You don't touch somebody like that. If he couldn't wait for the money, this man ought to have left long before making a disturbance. However, the pair did receive a free trip, so they can now relax, knowing that all is okay. Number 9. Stolen Microphones With undue confidence, a guy approaches you to try to sell you a microphone that he claims was thrown into the throng along with the adorable bag it came in. Let's discuss intelligence. It's nice. They just threw them out in the crowd and I picked them up. So they threw these things out into the crowd and you just happened to catch one? So at what point did they actually take this off of the, the rack and put it nicely inside of this thing? No, I got Zip them. it up and then threw it out there. When did that happen? Got out in the crowd and I picked them up. Do you pick them up? Well, that is literal stealing for God's sake. How can someone be that stupid and clueless? I'm so disappointed in this generation. This is American Jewelry and we have stolen merchandise. Thank you. They're on the way. The plot thickens. How much were you looking for? 100 bucks a piece, if possible. How about 75 a piece? That works. This must have been the easiest price negotiation ever, as they didn't even try to haggle over the price. In any case, why all that nonsense? Cage that we have, and um, lifted two of these mics. That's it. So 
so we're waiting for the police to come. Okay. Uh, they're leaving. No, I man, you leave. can't leave. The cops told us to hold you here. Cops are coming. Well, they can wait. They've all got to stay. Why? I'm not the person that came You're up. You're all involved in the group. That's the way it works. Until we know what's going on, that's the way it's going to be. So if you want us to have a seat, Tilikovsky Kovsky here. Are you bringing the whole ass team all up in vibes and complimentary colors? There is a gang there, for genuine. They are going to get one hell of a kick in the ass when the cops show up. Number 10, line cutting. A man simply walks by all of these folks who are lining up to claim their TV back. As if he owned the place, he just cut in line for his crap. Examine it. He just put up without what? Everybody be cutting in line. Come on, man. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, y'all need to chill out. Okay, if you start another second, I'm gonna come out there. So, I don't care what? about you coming out here. Oh, so he underestimated Ashley and yelled at her, which was a huge mistake. Oh no. Oh my god, no. Why doesn't he just mention that everyone is cutting in line? Whatever, man. No. Get my TV. No. Number one, I'm a girl, not a man. Number two, I'm right here, not over there. Number three, you're not gonna cut in front of my customers. We don't allow that here. They just cut in line before I did. So Anybody I cut in line after they cut did. In line here? Oh. Oh. Knowing these consumers, I can easily imagine that something would immediately pop out and reveal that, yes, someone was cutting in line. If that's the case, then I'm going to trust everyone. And I want your ass out of the store now! Come here, man. Watch out, man. Man, that's all I asked for in my TV, man. Man, whatever, man. Cut in line here, bud. I'm sorry. These are the rules. You can't follow the rules. You need to leave the store. This dude was creating an absurd amount of drama. He could have won his television if he had been in line like everyone else. Number 11, truck driver. This guy is looking to purchase an engagement ring. It appears that he is ready to settle down and wed the woman of his life. That is very pleasant. Let's investigate it. So I'm like this in yellow gold. One carat diamond in the center. Two carats on the outside. Is anybody in there? Hold on, man, hold on, I got you, bro, hold on, man, calm down, I got you. That's probably the man inside. Now, let's consider his justification. He's going to claim that he was rushing and that everyone should wait because he's almost finished. Stupid, move your ass. I got to go. Be a nice gentleman and please gladly move your car. Oh, we can't do this real quick? You don't have an option. You have to move your truck. Be more than happy to show you a parking place right near the front, but you have to move your truck. No, I'm not moving the damn truck. I'd be twice as stupid if I said that, because Leslie had a very big plan for you before you spoke that bit of garbage. Look at this, man, look. Look, bro. Man, hold on, okay, man, okay, okay, bro. Move your truck, move the truck. Move it, man. Move the truck. This guy's been out here all this time. No, you filthy old bumbler. Not one of them, not you. Fuck you. In reality, all he was doing was waiting for his trash to end quickly. Well, no. Number 12, tantrum throw. A man enters and requests to sell his watch for $400. Can he receive this amount or won't he? Since I'm not really sure, let's go investigate. Yeah, man, tell me the truth. What'd you really think? Tell you the truth, man. Yeah, Come on, give me fault. Give me fault for this watch, I man. Would, Come on, man. Be interesting. We deal in high-end watches. This was worthless. Nothing for us to deal with. Come on, give me like 450 for this Why watch. Why are you yelling at me? Oh, I got a baby on the way, dog. Congratulations. I'm sick, living, I'm sick living at the crib, man. Come on, give me fault for this it won't do any harm. I really need to get one thing straight for my man. Why would you be paid a certain amount when the watch isn't really worth that much? What you looking like I'm crazy, fool? You said it. I didn't say it. Hey, give me some cash for this watch, man. 400? I'm sorry. Hey, it's on that tip, dog, man. F y'all, man. It's a bull. Uh, excuse me. Hey, bitch, pick it up. Oh, uh, what? Hey, who the f you calling a bitch? One nice less. Put this moron back where he belongs. And that's what the bank would be. He actually knocks over a light. Really. What for? Also, a nothing. Absolutely nothing. Maybe I should have given him 400 for the watch. Then maybe he would have been able to pay me for the lamp that he broke. Oh. Ugh. Lucky it was a used lamp. Excellent, Les. It was a very smart move on your side to get him out of the store and stop wasting everyone's time. Though, as you know, his broke ass won't be paying you squat right now. Power steamer. No, I don't have a power steamer, so, a power so washer. Power washer? It's gonna be right here. How many RPMs? It's a GPM. Can you get a guy to help me? No. Where's your worker? I I'm a worker, I can help you. You don't know about tools. A guy know exactly what he's talking about, okay? okay? I'm a girl and it's 2700. Okay, well you don't know nothing, okay? You just a female. What's up, people? Welcome back and get ready for a hardcore pawn video full of shocking moments on hardcore pawn. Number one, grandma necklace. A guy walks in the pawn shop to try and sell his grandma's necklace and he's looking for a certain price that's actually quite impossible for different reasons. Check it out. 2,000. Mm-hmm. 
What do you need the money for? Uh, just a little extra pocket money. It's not real. What you mean is This not is not gold. As you can see, the color's coming off. No, 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 no. See, jury cleaner would do just a perfect job on this. Could I look at it? Sure. Let me look at it between your glasses. There you go. He's getting pretty mad, everyone, and I'm honestly not here for it. So let's hope shit does not go south because his ass will be kicked out. But shit is heating up for sure. Yep. What is this piece called? That's, that's the, uh, the uh, magnifying glass. Mm -mm. Well, what is it called? A jeweler's loop. Huh? A jeweler's loop. I don't think so. I bag the difference. You're entitled to your opinion. What, okay. what can you give me? I can't give you any money. You kidding me? Nope. You kidding me? Nope. You kidding me? What about him repeating his question for the millionth time? No, man. Les is not kidding you for sure. You are getting nothing. I'm not leaving out of here with no money, man. <laughs> give me somebody up, up, else up in there that He's going to help jewelry. you to find hey, someone. Man, how are you later? He don't know <laughs> about jewelry, man. No, he knows. Nah, he don't know nothing, dog. Apparently, I know nothing. Call it nothing. Call it knowing. But what's actually funny is that he actually started talking about getting nothing when I told him that previously. Damn, I'm a genius, but thank God he's out. Number two, power steamer. A guy walks into the store looking for a power steamer, and Ashley is the only one there to help him because Seth and Leslie went on a trip to go buy something. Check it out. No, I don't have a power steamer, so, a power so washer. Power washer? It's gonna be right here. How many RPM? It's a GPM. Can you get a guy to help me? No. Where's your worker? I, I'm a worker. I can help you. You don't know about two. A guy knows exactly what he's talking about. Okay, okay, I'm a girl, and it's 27. Okay, well, you don't know nothing. Okay, you're just a female. You're just a female. A dumb female. Wow. This guy is honestly so low for brutally saying that. I think nowadays all the so-called females will hunt you down and stop your misogynistic ass. Okay. Well, what you standing here for? I'm over here with her. She gonna help me. No, she can't help me. I need a guy to help me. Oh, trust me, she can help you. No, she can't help me. Okay, she's stupid female. How is that? Because she don't know what I want. She can't be too stupid. She on the store. It's time to go, bud. Ope. The security guy's reply just made this guy question everything he said towards Ashley. Because yes, my guy. This is literally one of the owners. <laughs> Okay, we outside. What's okay. going on? Okay, so put your money where your mouth mm -hmm. is. Your you want to do anything. My money right here. Last man spanked me was a damn doctor. I'm looking for him. Okay, well, let's do that then. You have a nice day. I wonder what a girl ever did to him. Seems that a girl broke his heart and broke him in general, Ashley. But this security guy is now officially my favorite. He did show him the money, and his reply about the doctor got me cracking. Number three, phone call. This woman doesn't have her ticket, yet she proceeds right to the window believing she pawned her microphone. Furthermore, yet. There's another major issue we have. Look into this. You don't have anything in pawn with us. You've sold the items to us. No, I didn't. We give the customer a buy sheet or we give them a pawn sheet. It is not our responsibility once they leave the window. She didn't look at the piece of paper she had when she walked away, so she didn't know she sold it. That's her fault, not ours. She sold us some merchandise. Now she's back a few weeks later wanting her merchandise back. It doesn't work like that. How could she be so ignorant as to be unaware that she had sold it rather than pawned it? I realize that I'm often in awe of people, but this woman is the height of foolishness. Come with me, no, please. Ma'am, come with me. This is my chair. You, so need you, really, you, you need to get really up. You need to get up, ma'am. You need to get up. I'm not getting up. Get up. No. Here. Hello. I need you to come up here right now. This woman is about to learn a very hard lesson. She's actually threatening them now. Really? She answered a phone call that she thought would be helpful, but it would be her last. Bull Nobody threatens me without a response. You gonna handle Tell me what that means. You gonna see when he get up here. Just wait right here with Bring me. Bring him. Go I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. That's where my car at. Damn. Bitch, move. I'm probably mad too, you know what I'm saying? This Alice is waiting her head now. Ooh, I'm mad. <laughs> it seems that others have also noticed these eyelashes, don't they? It hurts for me and her eyes to simply look at this stuff. At least she moved on and is no longer dealing with such nonsense. Number four, feet smell. A woman walks up to the window and asks to redeem her coat, probably because she pawned it here and now wants it returned. Let's examine her stunning new coat. Oh, uh-uh, excuse me. That's no, bad. this is not how I bought my coat in. How did you bring it oh, up? Oh, no, it smelled like roll kill gunk. I bought my coat in smelling like rope. And this smell like feet, booty. Oh, no, I don't want that. OK. We got to keep my coat with your dog, cat. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I think I must have sneaked in, picked at my feet, and maybe urinated on it. Who the dumbass is that to do? Exactly none. So that's all that matters to you, my darling. I'll go, I'll go take care of that right Thank now. you, because you done ran my blood pressure up in here. Smell it now. Tell me what it smells like now. Oh, 
Lord Jesus, you're about to make me fall off. She should be an actress for sure. One hell of an actress for that matter. The way she acted like she fainted. I mean, she should star in a Bollywood movie. That's not good. Oh. Oh, I see it. No, uh -uh. What Please. we're going to do, and we're going to keep this in the yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, you when need to you do something that. When you decide that your no. nasal passages no. are open. Code is just pathetic, and I'm going to blackball your bitch. What's the deal, honey? You've just damn almost lost your coat. You're probably acting pretty foolishly right now, and I have to admit it irritates me a lot. Still, I'm relieved you're no longer here. Number five, platinum bracelet. Yes, you read that right. A woman walks in trying to sell a bracelet that she says is exclusive to her, distinct in every manner. So let's look into it to find out if it is or not. This is a one of a kind. My boyfriend took me on an African safari. It's especially made for me. How much are we looking to get today? Well, he paid about $4,000 for it. So I was looking for at least $3,500. It's a really cool bracelet. Thank you. Um, but it's not platinum. Oh, no. I'm scared now. Like, I'm full-on scared. What's funny about Hardcore Pawn is that they actually never beat around the bush, and they tell it straight to your face. Scary. It's heavy to me. Look. Heavy? Yeah. I mean, that look, you, you, you're never gonna see one like this ever again. And you also said it was onyx? Like onyx. Onyx is a stone. If it was onyx, it, I would see a stone in there. I see that it's painted. Well, what I see is fake. Ashley could take it no more. Really. Awful. I can understand her perspective since, in all honesty, I think she has the mindset of a clown. For God's sake, act like a regular person. An app. Ask for Ashley. Ask for Ashley. Get it? See yourself Let me tell out you the something, door. girl. Hey, hey. Go touch oh. me, bit bully. Here. You got? Yo, I'll yo. escort you out. Here, yo, here. Okay. You Who are you? My real black, black, honest person. Ass. Oh, my God. This woman really has the courage to say that. Was I the only one who saw her intense fury at all of that nonsense? But A for ass, that is a rather creative statement. In any case, I'm relieved she's not here. Number six, computer trade. A man enters wishing to exchange his large laptop for a smaller one. Given that the laptop is ancient, I believe this may be fairly unsafe. So let's see how it works out for him. It's a little bit older. Yes, yeah, a little bit older, yeah. You have a charger? Yes, yeah, in the bag. So how much are you looking for? Like 250 to $300. How'd you come up with that price? My friend gave it to me for $125. Your friend gave it to you for $125? You want to, what, just, just double, gonna, triple I'm, your I'm, money? I'll tell you how much I can give you on this, and you're probably looking at about 75 bucks. God, this is really strange. Come on, Seth. It's really not that much, buddy. We really need to assist this guy. Well, let's see what else is out there. $75 for, for, for this? You can go higher than that, can't you? It's already old. You already know it's old. I know it's, it's old, but $75? 80 You gotta go a little bit higher, my I thought you should seek some help, but this man is really starting to irritate me. Honey, I can't take it any longer. The fact that you have to really do that thing really disappoints me. Get your get back, mother This guy crossed the line. Raise your hand at him again, you're gonna be in big trouble. He ain't with you no more. He's gotta go whether he cooperates or not. You ain't you. Get your hands off me. I ain't going no mother <laughs> Thankfully, this man is leaving because, at this point, he genuinely annoyed me. He made a scene and cast as much shade as possible. Number 7. Expensive guys. Two guys walk in the store wanting to buy a couple of TVs and a couple of iPads as well. These two seem way too expensive to even be standing in the pawn shop. No offense to you, Gold family. 16 of them. 3,500? 3,500, man. Hell no. Hell. No, 25 piece, my man. 25 what? Five dollars. A piece, man. I bet we have more than 25 dollars a piece in them. How much you have there? Count it up. Count it, man. You tell me. Count it up. Man, what's up, man? Did they seriously just put God knows how much one dollar on the counter, thinking they have the money of the world? How much do they think they will be paying for each item? Nothing higher, bro. Oh, Nothing we can't higher. sell you those. I'm sorry. We ain't leaving this mall till we get the deal we want. Here's what I advise you to do. What's that? Put that money in your pocket. No, nah, we straight. We want the iPads. You're not getting the iPads because they're not what you want to pay for them. You're not going to get them. We ain't leaving, man. That's what's happening. So if we're going to work the deal, or y'all going to make something happen? Oh, hell nah. You won't be messing with both Seth and Leslie anymore. Make sure you think twice before we show you how we can be too nice. Shut the hell up, my man. Man, I, hold on, big dog. Don't touch, don't, don't touch my money. We're not man. touching your money. Man, he tripping, man. Now, you want these die pads? Pay the money or leave. Hey, f you, man. Really? Well, how about this? Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, of course not. Yeah, yeah, of course not. Here, hold on. Here. Yeah, don't forget your package. We off, man. Easy, man. 
can't spend no money in this bitch. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Oh, man. Unreal. Thank God these two dumbasses are out. And I'm glad Leslie and Seth managed to do it by themselves. Because just so you know, they sent their security home for the day. Number 8. Shouting Contest. A woman walks up to the glass and claims she's lost her ticket or left it here and wants to go in right now. I don't see you in the system. There is no one in my system with this address. How are you going to tell me when I left my ticket on the counter? I came here and I pawned the TV. It's not I can here. only tell you what it says in this computer system. Man, listen to me. I've seen the scam before. It never works. Did she have a motive for starting to yell? Seth, if you've already witnessed that scam, you really need to take care of it immediately, or it will come back to bite you in the ass. No, no I, I was no, getting another keyboard. No, Maybe that was going to work. That's Look it. at your computer and see what the my ticket is. Or call somebody else over to the window. Somebody else coming to the window. Call the blotter. No, thanks. Call the blotter with your little bitty ass. Call I want my ticket. Though, wait a minute, wasn't she acting like a gorilla only a few seconds ago? That was a really smooth maneuver, as though she was going to taste this lovely man. You ain't gotta touch me. Oh, this is all Girl, you come on, now. Go ahead. Okay, all right, here you go. Come on. This is that I came is. here for a ticket. Wow. But you want my number and all that, right? That's what you want? You want all that? Huh? Whatever. Oh. Hey, baby girl. You twerk good. Really? What the heck? The sight of old Byron is already making her horny, and she's starting to grow interested in him. I can't really blame her though. Well, get out of here. Number 9. Earring Error A woman comes in to get her pawned earrings. Unlike other folks I've encountered, at least she came prepared with her ID, even though it looks like her ticket was taken. Do you got my ticket? <laughs> do I have it? Yeah, do you got my ticket? No. Just give me my earring. What type of business is y'all running? Y'all got these convicts up here. Y'all got all this money, and y'all can't make me a copy of my no, you don't have your receipt. Because if you had your receipt, you could have made yourself a copy. Okay, and give me my earring. You got my back to your ear! You got my back to oh, Felon convicted. My laughter was equal to Nikki's. Why does she keep referring to all people as felons and convicts? Your ID was with you, and it was lost. What the devil? Are you wearing her back? Oh, no. No. You got it's my back on your ear. She the one who took my money last time. I'm not leaving out of here until I get my mother back. Says it on your ticket that you didn't have them when you brought them in. We don't have them. Bring them cars in the back over. I'm not no cars up. Bring me my back. Ashley has had enough of this garbage. Actually, all she did was threaten to get into problems for herself by messing with the cars outside. I pray for peace in her soul. You try to act like the rain stretch Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, by the way, your zipper's down. Oh, by the way, I'm about to up your car. I guarantee you're not, bitch. Get the off that car, you bitch. Give me my earring. I'm gonna you up. I'm coming back up here for you, bitch. You promise me that? Ah, don't make promises. I make threats, bitch. Rather than offering promises, I intimidate others. That is definitely one heck of a statement. What the hell is going through this stupid woman's head? Heaven forbid. Give up chatting. Number 10. Cab driver. A man who is waiting in line for a loan is storm it in and scream it at. But why is it even the case? I have no idea what's happening. Supposedly the cab driver dropped this guy off here because he wanted to get money for his jewelry to pay the cab driver. Give me $45. We'll I, have to, I have to pawn this. Bullshit. Oh, I'm out of here. Okay, then what? you can go. I'm gone. Okay, go. Who the hell are you? I'm Ashley. Ignore Ashley, please. Not a single man. Slave up on you. I've decided that because you will eventually get your money, you should wait for it without becoming irritated. Hey, get your hands off. Get your hands off. Hey, get out. No, hey. Get your hands off. Hey, That's assault. I want her out of my car. You're loud. Is this dude even grabbing this woman to get her out of the car and grabbing her arm? What is wrong with that fucking hell? Whoa, this really is an assault. Sounds get in real your good. car, go. Yeah. You get really get, get in, in your car. Do you know what I have the best idea? I will call you a cab. He can be out his money because he's here. demanding it. You guys got a free ride. This is a man who should have departed long before causing a commotion if he couldn't wait for the money. But the two did get a free trip, so they can now unwind in the knowledge that everything will be well. Number 11. Baseball cards. This woman walks in and starts spilling all the juicy details of her f***ing life. Is this the outrageous price she's trying to convince Ashley of? I don't think it will work. Okay. I'm trying to get my baby daddy out of jail, and I've been really trying to work things out with us. I love him dearly. I was his first phone call. You know, so that lets me know that he loves me. Huh? He called me. He ain't called no other chick. He called me. I'm just saying. <sighs> the same, Ashley. The same. You're speaking much too much, even though I know you're only trying to be kind. I mean, did you really think Ashley was pushing you to start dating right away? 
Okay, I can help you, but not for that much. Yes, for that much. This bag is right. worth at least a good four thousand by itself. This one, this one's a good one. You want like fifty bucks? I say it. I don't care what you said. Yes, Ashley, stop her immediately. Speak to her like a bird. She's trying extremely hard, but not really trying to make a point. This woman is definitely mad. Right. Back up, big man. You wanna outlet this, big man? No, no. Your turn. Go. Hey. Watch your eyes. Hey. Watch your eyes. Watch you. No, don't give me no damn hug. Oh, you need a hug. I don't want no damn hug. hug. Get off of me. No. I don't want a hug from you. Kiss my ass. <laughs> I did not want to witness that at all. More along the lines of, I didn't need to see that. This woman literally just screamed rather loudly and angrily. Though for what? Number 12, fake teeth. The reason this woman is so irate is because she believes she owns the TV in the front. Let's get this celebration started, honey. This is obviously not yours. Your security out of Why am I out here on the floor? It's supposed to be in the back. If it's in pawn, it's in the back. If it's for sale, it's in the front. That's bull Hold on, let me get this straight. She pulls out her teeth. A whole heck, these teeth. God, they appeared out of nowhere. I'm enraged at the moment. Old hag, follow me. This is really disgusting. I can't understand. Let's get my right now, Mr. American Loan. This woman was out of her mind. Go to the window, give your pawn ticket. I'll be more than happy to bring out your merchandise. Even more repulsive is the way she inserted them. That's what finally got to me, that crap. Whoa, that woman is very, really disgusting. Well, I'll go get my There we go. Where's that comment? Out of you. All right. Tell Hook to take care of you. Who is Hook? I want Hook right now. Hey, Hook. You go. That's your ass. Stop Get saying. Outside. OK, thank y'all very much. May the birds of paradise fly up your nose. And that's that. On this one, she really let her imagination go. Emma tells her that the birds of paradise are a good source of fresh teeth, since you're in this place in need of some. I paid you $500 for this purse. I want my money back. This purse is fake. Let me gain my composure before anybody... Don't gain your composure. Before somebody goes... Give and me my money back. You sold me a fake purse. the purse. You sold me a fake purse. And give I want my second. money back. Give you don't need a second. Ma'am, do you have the receipt? You know, I didn't give you a second when I gave you my money. What's up, people? Welcome back, and get ready for a Hardcore Pawn video full of weirdest moments on Hardcore Pawn. Number 1. Ring Pawn. A couple walks in wanting to pawn the ring on this woman's finger, but here's the catch. The woman's finger is too big for Ashley to even pull out, so what will happen now? Can I help you? Hi, I'm trying to pawn this ring so I can pay my bills. Can you take it off? I can't take it off. You can look at it. I'm gonna need a weight, though, on the ring. I can't take it off because... Ooh. How did you get it on? It just came on, I put it on, and it won't come off. It's stuck. I told her to take it off before she got it. She don't listen. Let me give you some cream. What kind of cream is that? I have hand lotion. Maybe that will help you loosen it up. You can try. But how is she actually standing there while being roasted by her man and not saying a word? This woman is all kinds of stupid, not gonna lie. But I mean, they are stating facts, so... Don't. It, it don't come off. It's messed up, man. It's man, messed what up. What is that you put on my girl hand? <laughs> Look like you hurt my girl finger. Now she like has to I'm go... I'm hurting her Yes, finger. it is. Like, I'm hurting her finger. Yes, it is. Put it on her. I didn't pull it off of her. You was trying? You was trying to put it off my finger. Now that's stupid as hell. I'm genuinely surprised that these two are actually playing with Ashley's mind when all she was trying to do was lubricate it. So it's pulled out. The hell. Turn you did it. No, you did it. No, you did it. You gonna you gonna pay my motherfucking bill and that's it. That's her. Meet the crazy people. Crazy people, meet Hook. Thank Take you. them out of the store. Thank you. I bet y'all bring my lawyer back up here. This bitch. We be here waiting. We are waiting indeed. I mean, how the hell do you think all that makes sense? Thank God all these interactions are filmed because it pisses me off that they think they are right. Number two, cheap trade. A man walks in wanting to trade a couple of plumbing items and other stuff to get himself a brand new ring he saw last week. But he did not expect the price of this ring at all. Well, I'm here to trade my plumbing items. Okay, so what do we got? This is a... Uh... Torch. Yes. Yep, these are tubing cutters. Okay. Flashlights. So how much you need? I was looking at this ring right here last week, wherever the cost of that ring is right there. This is 18 karat. It's okay. white gold, $5,000. $5,000. In other words, you can't even come near this price with that shit you brought with you in the store. I have probably a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars worth of tools here, and... You know, how much do you think this little flashlight is? It's $90. That is an explosion-proof flashlight. You're, you're a woman, you don't know. 
Oh God, this is the biggest mistake anyone could have made, especially him. I mean, this man is about to get his ass kicked because of what he said. You know Ashley doesn't play around. I do what know. What this is all about. I do know. Do you know what these are? No, you don't. You're a woman. Do you know what this is? No, you don't. You're a woman. You know what? This is a lot of money. Take your no. No. out of my store. Have a good day. I hope your toilet backs up and your sink stops working. Blah, blah, blah. When you run a business, you have to keep your emotions out of it. Oh, for God's sake, Aless. We have seen you lose it a hundred times in a time anyone freaking disrespects you. So cut the bullshit because we both know Ashley did the right thing. Number three. First time a woman walks into the store and walks up to an airplane seat just to throw the sign on it that simply says, do not sit. So why the hell would she actually sit? She's sitting on our airplane seats that I had just bought. You can't just come in here and make yourself comfortable. It says, do not sit. <laughs> Okay, these are for sale. We don't have like a trial and error. Okay, well, I'm not trying to buy them. I'm just trying to try them out. They're for sale. If not, you can get your butt up and walk out the door. And what you can do is leave me the f alone. Leave you the what alone. Oh, that's cute and very funny. It really is. But like, are you actually serious now? Byron better get this girl out if he can, because you know. How you doing? You all right? No, thank you. No, no. You, you can get your, you can get your hand off. Uh, get your hands off. No. Have Sexual harassment. Yeah. My hands are in my pocket. Have a good day. Get your life so I can't sit down in the seat. If you want to buy it. Sexual harassment? No. This woman is out her goddamn mind. She's really accusing Byron of that shit. Well, we'll see how much further she can go with victimizing herself. Are you still going to keep looking? Are you still going to keep looking? Are you looking? Are you going to keep looking? Take care of the twins. Have a good day. It all goes downhill when somebody pulls out their boobs. I think you just wanted someone to tear you up. Like pulling out your boobies? What was the reason behind that stupid act? You're a grown-ass woman. Act like one. Number four, smoking grandma. This elderly woman enters and asks to get her money returned. Evidently, she is not happy that they sold her a phony handbag. Just wait and watch how this thing plays out. I paid you $500 for this purse. I want my money back. This purse is fake. Let me gain my composure before anybody... Don't gain your composure. Before somebody goes... Give me my money. And I want my second. money back. Give you don't need a second. Ma'am, do you have the receipt? You know, I didn't give you a second when I gave you my money. Well, she just made the point of the year, honestly. I love this grandma's attitude, but I'm sensing some trouble on the way. You sold me this purse. Baloney. And on baloney. Baloney. It was you. May I please have my money? No, that's how to start it. So when did you buy it? I bought it a week ago. From me. From you. This is tarnished. You know what that stands for? What is that? She returns, claiming that this purse brand is an acronym for Leslie's asshole, just when I was beginning to think that this was actually going to work out for her. Hello, what is wrong with you? Pees this granny, and all she's doing is blowing smoke in my face. Now, here's the deal. Ain't no I'm deal. trying to be professional, give and I'm trying to give you courtesy. Give me my money. That's all I want is my money. Give me your car, because I'm going to sue your ass. Okay, I'll see you in court. I'm gonna bust. I'm gonna hit you. You're not gonna bust nothing. I hit you. Well, I go got ahead. a son. I've been hit by much harder. Go ahead. ahead. Well, get it. She does not remind me of my grandmother. To be honest, she reminds me of no granny. However, I adore the way she took out her cigarette as though she were outside or that this was her house. Bring your son. Byron will demonstrate for him. Number five, crazy mom. A woman and her son walk in to buy a ring for herself since today is her birthday, but her son came with her along with some fire because he seriously is causing some shit. Deontay, nice to meet you. That's my son. Oh, yeah, excellent. It's my birthday. I'm looking yeah, for birthday. me a gift. 500. That's a lot. That wouldn't even cost that much at a jewelry, regular jewelry store. Well, that's okay. I like it. No, we're not regular jewelry store. It's actually cheaper than you could get it anywhere else. That's too much. I don't think you should get it. Shut up. Let me see this piece then. Nice reply, Mom. Okay, I get this is some kind of advice since this is his mom and so on. But, like, that's not the right way to put it, my man. Just check out what goes on next. 800. 800? You need to shut up before I knock you the for real. Stop it. But still. But you're not, you know, you're not Tobias for her birthday, right? right? It's my birthday. Still, it's my she money. don't need to be spending that much money in a pawn shop, dude. But, wait, so you spent 500 on those earrings? Yeah. They're CZs. <laughs> Bull OP. The mom really seems to be done with her son's shit. I mean, she's right. Just freaking leave her be for once. And yes, these earrings look fake, so at least she's buying something real. But you got me up. That's bull. You don't talk to me like that. All right, dude. It's your mother walk. This mother, she's not playing. Whatever. You, you talking to? And the girl can throw a fast pitch. I will knock you smooth the out. 
out. She was hot. Who the f is you talking to, boo? This mother was severely whooping her son's ass. She got her flip-flops all up in that boy's face, as if it were a game she had always played. Proud of her for standing up for herself. Number six, human dogs. I know this isn't really a challenge, but for Ashley, it definitely was one. I mean, these mascots are really playing their role to the fullest. This is Cody Collie. Back here, this is Frisbee, Gimno the raccoon, and this is Blizzard the wolf. We're freelance mascotters. Character performance. So do you guys typically walk around all day dressed up? Uh, we're going to Miami for a sporting event. I'm not sure how you're but you really smell. Wet dog. Oh. Oh, for God's sake, cut the crap. Please, whoever is in their right mind won't even think about walking around in a dog costume. But the fact that they actually smell makes this shit more disgusting. What can I help you with today? We need money, so I have some stuff to sell to you today. Cody's got silver. These bars are hardly worth anything. Let's get this over with so these guys and their stench can leave for Miami. Well said, Ashley. Because I know if I was where you were standing, the first thing I would do is kick them out. I mean, customer service who? So doing 21 each? No, higher, 22. 2150. 2150 each? We'll do 2150. All right, we got a deal. Next time, please just come in in like your human attire. Get money, get paid. I'm gonna go get them fed. Did they actually bark for confirmation and bark because they are happy? Dude, you're literally a human being. This actually is so freaking challenging. Number seven, singing job. A man walks in asking for a job. He has to fill in an application, but he really is hesitating to do so. But he suddenly bursts into doing something unexpected. Check this out. Okay, well, we have a whole process of doing that. You have to fill out an application. I don't yeah. have time to fill out an application, Karen. I mean, look at me. I'm stylish. I'm dressed you, nicely. You do have good I yes, see I got taste. Some first. American jewelry alone. You're pretty talented. Can I get a job I, today, I, I, today, today, today? Can I, I get a job? Shoot the hell up for God's sake. What the hell is seriously wrong with you, my man? He bursts into singing all of a sudden as if this is some singing job application. Lord, you lay the hands? Lord told me to lay hands on somebody. Lay I don't hands, know though. who it's going to no, be. No, get behind me, It's going to be you, Karen. It ain't going to be me. Come on. Let's get on for the real? body, yeah. baby. Right, hit it one on. more time. Byron hit the nail on with that trick. Not going to lie. That was smart as hell for him to tell that dumbass that Jesus told him to lay his hands on him. He's out for good. Karen. I work with every day. I know. Come on. Listen. From here, bro. From here. Hit it. Yeah. You have a great day. Amen. Hey, man, Amen, brother. All right, now. Ow. We gotta witness some vocals, everyone. I really like Byron's voice. Yeah, who am I even kidding? This man seriously has amazing talent, but he's way too petty for a job. Number eight, dog eating. The main man, one of the two, walks into the room with his dog. It's not a real dog, it's his dog. Don't worry, we should look into it as they desire a bike. I wanna see if I can get it down the road. Unfortunately, I can't allow you to take it anywhere unless you put a deposit down. I really wanna close this deal, but I can't go against policy. I can't let him go for a test drive without a deposit. It's a liability. You you, you can't let me take a bike down the road. Put a deposit down. No, I ain't gonna put no deposit on it. I just wanna ride it up down the road. If I like it, I'll buy the bike. I can tell that this moron is becoming very defensive and ranting. How on earth is he really supposed to think that anything that's going on and seed his mind make a sensey? Who's this guy? That's my dog. That's your dog? That's my dog. You got a dog that bikes? I got a dog that bikes too. Somebody get me the keys to this bike. Give him the keys. I give him the keys. Take it out. I'll roll it out myself. You take it off the stand? Why? You guess somebody's gonna stop me? Will someone step in to put an end to you? Our man Byron has the ability to drastically alter your life and make you aware of even the worst parts of it. Man, this your dog, right? You get up have a nice day. Have a nice day. That's the out here. here. Come on. Man, you. Yes, sir. Have a good you day. He had enough to refer to me as a dog. Don't touch my man. These motherfuckers. I guess I had a big bark and a big bite because I pushed both of them out of the door. Smooth like butter. Smooth as butter, to be exact. Byron, my lover, is an expert at hitting the nail on the nail. He actually gave me the finest shove I've ever seen. I meant to work as hard as possible. Number nine, royal treatment. This English woman walks into the room thinking she's the queen of England. No question about it. Please assure her that this won't occur once again. Please have a look at this. I've come into your store to buy a coat. I ain't come in this store for you to rip me off. I'm not ripping you off. Those are actually just reduced to $400. That one fits you really nice. That's a fax. How much? for the coat. Do you not understand? Do you not understand? No, it doesn't appear like she comprehends at all. It appears that this woman truly believes that she is the center of the universe. Yes, it doesn't. And the coat has 400 shades. My exchange rate is absolutely incredibly high. I'm sorry about that. A British lady here, you know. How much for the coat? I can go 350 for you today if that will help you out. Shove it.
Discard it? Overcome it? Surely they'll shove her into the parking lot. Regretfully, I think that she undoubtedly suffers from some form of cognitive impairment because of her senior age. Why don't I show her the We're not looking at this big guy, we're looking at you. You're gonna make me? He will. I don't think so. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Pleasure. Have I don't day. think so. Have a good day, miss. Have a good day. I'm not interested in your $200. Goodbye, lady! Goodbye, lady! There you go. That's the royal treatment. Tell the queen we say hello. Well done, Byron. She should definitely welcome the queen. But even if she could truly travel the world looking like one, she wouldn't do it. That is the essence of the craving for power. Number 10. Baseball cards. This woman walks in and starts spilling all the juicy details of her fucking life. Is this the outrageous price she's trying to convince Ashley of? I don't think it will work. Okay. I'm trying to get my baby daddy out of jail, and I've been really trying to work things out with us. I love him dearly. I was his first phone call lets me know that he loves me huh he called me he ain't call no other chick he called me i'm just saying <sighs> the same ashley the same. You're speaking much too much even though. I know you're only trying to be kind. I mean, did you really think Ashley was pushing you to start dating right away? Okay, I can help you, but not for that much. Yes, for that much. This bag is right. worth at least a good 4000 by itself. This one's, this one's a good one. You want like 50 bucks? No, not 50 bucks. I want 1500 for I these. I can't help you with that. I okay. said. I don't care what you said. Yes, Ashley. Stop her immediately. Speak to her like a bird. She's trying extremely hard, but not really trying to make a point. This woman is definitely mad. Hundred. Let's play some sports. Hundred. Have your eye, babe. Back up, yeah, big man. Change. You want to outlet this, big man? Go, Humpty. Okay, Get up off me. Give me your hug. No, don't give me no damn hug. Oh, you need a hug. I don't want no oh, damn hug. hug. I don't want no hug. No. Stop. I don't want no hug. You kiss my ass. <laughs> Whoa. I did not want to witness that at all. More along the lines of, I didn't need to see that. This woman literally just screamed wrath loudly and angrily. Thu for what? Purpose off. Number 11. Aspiring singer. Simply walking into the store, a wannabe singer puts an unknown microphone into an unknown radio and starts barking like a horse. Hey y'all, I'm an aspiring singer. I'm trying to make it to the top. One day, one day. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on. What you doing? Excuse me, sir. Why you cutting my volume off? We can hear you. Not only that, but the only place you could work as a singer is the zoo, where I highly doubt you'll succeed, since I envision you getting attacked by a variety of animals. For you, Ava. I wanna sing a song. Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna be a star. You're gonna be something, and all right? I ain't even gonna give you a shout out. No. Are you just been buying this? No, I'm not. I need some money. I need. Good. Show's over. Here's a tip. Stop singing. Is she really waiting for a gratuity? You are in a real store, girl. A business that is purely focused on selling stuff. And this entire thing is taking place on a stinking private property. You a hater, 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 hater. You a hater. Please, please. No, 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 no. Pull off. Want to come back here. Want to, want to. That's enough. Singing will last me a lifetime. The radio's gonna be silent on the way home. I think this woman appears to be high on cocaine. It seems incomprehensible that someone would commit such horrible acts in public just to look silly and unattractive. 